Welcome to Real Illusions Hints and Tips, quick guide to copy joints for iClone Studio. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use copy joints to edit motions, both default and custom, in 10 easy steps. We're going to go ahead and get started now. As you can see, I have my default project open here in iClone Studio, and for step number one, you simply want to select animation, go to your template menu, and then select a motion. You can do this very easily by double clicking on the thumbnail. As you can see, this is going to apply motion to your character in real time. You're now ready for step number two. Go to the Modify tab, and under Motion Editor, click the Launch button. This will launch Motion Editor. If you have a project open, now's a good time to save. If not, go ahead and select No. This is going to place our clip on our timeline ready for editing. You're now ready to move on to step number three. Pick a point in your timeline where you would like to edit your clip. In this case we're going to use frame number 40. and We're actually going to take our avatar here and we're going to raise our arms for the rest of the clip. You're now ready to move on to step number four. In step number four, make sure you're where you would like to edit your clip and then simply click the insert current pose button. You're now ready to move to step number five. In step number five, after placing your keyframe, simply go to the top bar and select the edit button. We're then going to select the portion of our avatar which we would like to edit. In this case, it's going to be the shoulder. We're going to move the shoulder up in space relative to the point that we would like it to be through the duration of the rest of the clip. You're now ready to move on to step number six. In step number six, simply go to the top and select copy joint. Then you're going to move down to the rest of your timeline and select the duration of your clip. You're now ready for step number seven. Step number seven, go back up to your toolbar and select the button for Paste Joint. It's going to give you a rollout menu. That's going to give you two options, relative and absolute. You want to select relative because it's going to be relative to the duration of the rest of the clip. As you can see, that's moved our arm. Now you're ready to move on to step number eight. If we want to select multiple joints, simply go back and select our keyframe for step number eight once again. Go back to edit and select our second joint that we want to manipulate. Then we're going to move that in space. And then simply select copy joint one more time. Go back down to your timeline, select your duration, and then click Paste Joint once again, and Relative. As you can see now, we have both of our arms moved up, and you're ready to move on to step number nine. Step number nine, review your motion to make sure that you do have the edit that you wish to achieve using copy joints and as you can see our animation is still carrying out with the edit in place so our arms are raised and they're not down to our side anymore and we have effectively taken a default motion and with the use of copy joints we have changed that into a new custom motion to meet our specific needs you're now ready to move on to step number 10 in step number 10 go to file you can select save your project if you would like to maintain the motion data that you have built here in the bottom or you can simply go ahead and export to iClone. Export to iClone, choose a folder or create a new one, name your file and simply save. As you can see once back in iClone Studio our default motion is now saved as an edited motion with our edit in place. 
our avatar now raises the arms instead of keeps them to their side and we have successfully used copy joints to edit a motion. Thanks for your time and if you have any further questions about copy joints or any other Reillusion products please contact support at Reillusion.